Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example, we have three radicals. All three of them are the cube root of something underneath the radical. Notice that we have a y cube here and a y cube there. So right away, we can already get that outside the radical sign. The cube root of y cube is simply y. So this can be written as y times the cube root of 54x minus, here we can take the y out as well, we have the cube root of 2x, and here we have plus y times the cube root of 128x. Now we can simplify, or not simplify, but rewrite 54 and 128 in such a way that we have it as a product of something multiplied times something cubed. Let me explain what I just said. This is equal to y times the cube root of 54 can be written as 2 times 27 times x, because 27 is the cube of 3, minus 5y. Here we cannot do anything. We'll just leave it as the, square root, or the cube root. This should be the cube root of 2x. And here, plus y times the cube root of, and here we can write this as 4 times, hmm, let's see here, 4 times 62... Uh, let's take that back. How about 2 times 64 times x? Hmm, 64 is not the right thing that I wanted. Let's see here, 128. Let's see what we can do with 128. 128 can be divided by 2 to give us 64, divided by 2 to give us 32, divided by 2 to give us 16, divided by 2 to give us 8, divided by 2 to give us 4, divided by 2 to give us 2. In other words, 128 is the same as 2 to the hmm, 7 power, 7, 8, 9, yep, that is correct, 2 to the 7 power, which means that this can be written as 2 to the 3rd power times 2 to the 3rd power times 2, or 4 to the 3rd power times 2. Ah, that's a better way to write it. So yes, indeed, this can be written as 2 times 64x, and 64 is really 4 cubed. Now we're in business, because now we can write this as y times the cube root of 2 times 3 cubed x minus 5y times the cube root of 2x plus y times the cube root of 2 times 4 cubed times x. You just have to see it sometimes, and if you don't, you can find it out like that. So now we can take this outside the radical, we can take this outside the radical, so this becomes 3y times the cube root of 2x minus 5y times the cube root of 2x plus 4y times the cube root of 2x. Now notice we have the cube root of 2x, the cube root of 2x, and the cube root of 2x, which means we have the same radical and we cannot combine those. We have 3y minus 5y plus 4y. 3 plus 4 is 7, minus 5 is 2. And so we get 2y times the cube root of 2x, which is the final correct form of our original radical expression. So you can see you can combine radical expressions if the number or the part underneath the radical is exactly the same. And that's how it's done.